I don't think anyone in this hall would like to hear that word again in life. Well, when I was nine years old, I lost someone who I was very fond of to cancer. But unlike the people who want to run away from cancer, I decided to face it. I wanted to build a career out of it. So here I am. As a cancer researcher, my focus is to prevent and eradicate cancer in striking the population that I serve. Marcel Proust once quoted, the real act of discovery is not in finding new lands, but in seeing with new eyes. We see our world and our work through eyes of countless assumptions and habit-fixed thinking of our own human conscious. To break into the next human phase of advancement requires us to be visionary, to go beyond infinity. That's a the theme for our day. Not just merely for discoveries, it also enunciates the need for intellectual utilization of strategies and concepts to build in more utility and promise out of what we have available. One of the biggest challenges of a developing country like India is to innovate cost-efficient and affordable ways to detect and treat cancer. Cancer holds a big burden to our economy and our status because cancer is mostly detected in late stage and in that stage it is very difficult to treat or to cure it. It also adds up the treatment cost and pulls up burden to the less efficient economic status. One of the biggest principles taught by a fictional character named Tony Stark, aka the Iron Man, as most of you must be knowing, is to innovate from what you have. That is, modern principles require modern solutions. Let me take you to a small storyline in a fictitious character universe. The protagonist once is taken by an army military and is struck with a bullet close to the heart. So to prevent the bullet from striking the heart, he has to develop a mechanism to prevent it. So he uses the basic principle of repulsion using a thing called an arc reactor made just from scrap. He makes everything in a cave with nothing of resources and from just box of scraps. Well, this is one example which shows any problem, be modern or old, requires solution of that standard. One of the toughest ways of solving a problem is to find shortcuts and methods to approach it. Most of the time we need resources. Most of the time we need personnel. But what if you could adapt to it? You could adapt to the problem. You could improvise your own solution. You don't need crores of rupees to treat cancer. What if you could detect it early using a device which is very less cost? You are saving millions of dollars. And through this process, you are overcoming one thing, the one thing you feared, the chronic disease, the cancer. What could a device, a made in piece of paper, and one dollar could do? If I could give a piece of paper and one dollar to the crowd here, what is the best thing that you can do? Some of the best artists in the hall can create great art. Some of the best talents can create great crafts. But what if you could build a device in just a piece of paper and one dollar? That's what we are going to be seeing now. So the basic device is named microfluidic electromagnetic system. Let's break up the big, big words. Microfluidic basically in layman terms mean whatever we are seeing in the macroscopic level, we are going to replicate the same to the microscopic level. Electromagnetic system means using electricity and magnetic forces, we are going to sway the properties of the matter. This is what the paper looks like. It has got a portion for inflow of blood. It has got a chamber where using electricity and magnetism, we are going to sort the cells out. And it has got an output chamber. It is divided into different compartments. The first compartment, we are going to separate the blood cells and the cancer cells. Normally in the blood, there will be cancer cells. So for assessing purposes, we need to separate the cancer cell and the normal cells. So in the first compartment, we will be separating the blood and the cancer cells. 
And the next part is we have to assess what type of cancer it is. In this, we are using a thing called as dissolvable electromagnetic bead, which has a specific color inside. So when these color, when the beads dissolve, the color comes out. And based upon the color, we can detect what type of cancer it is. But how does the bead know when to dissolve? It has got a thing called as ligand on the outside. In the blood, when we get cancer, there are certain biomolecules produced called as cancer biomarkers. Each cancer has got a different biomarker. So based upon the biomarker ligand complex, the color dissolves out. And based upon the color, we can give a reading of what type of cancer it is. So what is this device and why is it exciting? As most of you must be knowing, the urbans and the rurals are at a large healthcare distribution gap. Whatever happening in the urban sector is not what we see in the rural sector. Most of the resource persons like surgical pathologists, doctors are refusing to go to rurals because of lack of efficient conditions. So what do the rurals do? They are not getting any resources. They're not getting any technology what we're doing. The healthcare distribution is at a greater risk. So this device, which is created in a cost of under $1, can be used in place of whatever the, whatever the expensive devices which we have currently. This is a non-invasive method where we don't use any highly invasive techniques and this can be, results can be given in a span of five to 10 minutes. The impact of this can be huge. We are not just looking at one life. We are looking at countless millions of lives who, are, who we are gonna save here. As most of you must be knowing, 75% of the population are still in the rural sector. Not just a small proportion, a big proportion to the economy. What if this device can make a revolution? What if this 75% can get the same healthcare facilities whatever the urbans are getting? So this device basically ensures this concept. This could be exploited not just in small screenings. It can be used even in large scale screenings to identify cancer. What this basically is efficient to the population is that once you know you have a cancer or you have a probability to develop cancer, you can seek timely me medical attention. Researchers have proven that if you can detect cancer in an earlier stage, say, say stage one or stage two, you can definitely cure cancer. Most of the time, we do not develop symptoms, so we don't know if we have cancer or not. Most of the time, we develop cancer only in stage three and stage four. At that time, cancer is nearly incurable, and you can give only palliative care. So this innovation, a simple innovation, just made in paper and under $1, can help you getting the cases early as possible and getting early timely medical attention. So what is the future of this device? This device is just made just for cancer right now. This can be extrapolated for bacterial, protozoal, genetic and fungal diseases. Just like how we get cancer biomarkers in the blood, there are various biomolecules which can be utilized for developing such devices. Through this global platform of TED, I would like to spread the simple ideation that a simple technology like these can be a great boon to the future of advancement of healthcare technology. This device doesn't need crores of advancements of research innovation. We just need a little bit of use of application of science we learned in high school to develop such technologies. Through this global platform, we encourage ideas, more innovations. We need more youngsters. We need young minds to ideate, to innovate, and to come up with such simple technologies for the nation. The nation wants young, bright minds like you and me to stand up and rise for what we don't have. If they don't do it, we can do it. This is in fond remembrance of the Marvel Universe character and creator of Tony Stark, Stan Lee. This is in good remembrance of his contributions. He has inspired millions of young enthusiasts to come into science and to take up positions. As he always say, all it takes is a leap of faith. And all you young minds out here, just like how this simple technology is made, you all can rise to the occasion and build up a greater future for the nation and for the years to come. You are the future of India. You are the future of our economy. Thank you.